Welcome to this complete YouTube strategy masterclass where I'm going to be breaking down three frameworks that are going to help you succeed on YouTube this year and specifically find your unique niche. You might be wondering, what should I actually make my channel about? How to stand out from the competition and also our mastery framework for how to rapidly learn the new skills that you need when it comes to succeeding on YouTube. And so it's actually three different sessions. And if you're watching this replay, you can check out time codes and chapters to see these trainings. In the first session, it's all about how to find the best channel topic for you that gets money, that gets views and earns money. And it's our 3P framework. Then in the second session, we're going to be sharing the unfair advantage framework. You might be feeling right now like, man, there's so much competition on YouTube. How do I stand out? How do I find my unique spot? That's exactly what you're going to learn in this second session. And then finally, in the third session, we're going to be talking about the rapid skill development framework that you can use to quickly master the necessary skills for growing to 100,000 subscribers and beyond. And if you're new here, this is the Grow With Video Live show. And so weekly, we're coming to you on the countdown to our event that's happening online and in Las Vegas called Grow With Video Live. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that later as we get ready and get into the main content of today's show. Welcome back to the Grow With Video live show. I'm excited because today I am joined by the incontrovertible Miss Heather Torres and Omar El Takori from the Think Media team. Heather, how's it going and what are you sipping on today? Oh my goodness, I am just so excited, Sean, uh, especially for this content specifically, because this is what we get asked all the time when we're coaching students in our Video Ranking Academy, when we are helping uh, smart entrepreneurs figure out what they should be making content about. So I am so excited that we're giving this away for free here on uh, the Grow With Video Live show. And the countdown is on, Sean. We are getting closer and closer to it. I'm sipping on water out of a mason jar because yes. I am a millennial and this is what we do. So <laughs> how about you, Omar? What are you excited about? No, I, like, you know, just like Heather said, I, I don't believe we ever shared this like publicly. And it's crazy that this, uh, what Sean's going to teach, I know it's going to help you. Uh, you can go ahead and put free game in the comments, free game, because that's what we're all about. And I just got done drinking a water bottle and I crushed the water bottle and then threw it in the trash can. Uh, I'm, I'm in San Diego right now. They didn't have recycling. So, uh, if you're, if you're about that green life, I'm sorry, but no Man, I love it. Over here. and I'm excited because of course, Heather and Omar are, uh, lead content creators on the think media team. And we're going to be doing some Q and a with you live here in between our three sessions. Uh, but I want to get straight to the content and the overarching class today is our YouTube strategy 2022 really masterclass. Three sessions on how to find your unique niche and stand out from the competition. And in session number one, we're talking about how to find the best channel topic for you, specifically that gets views and earns money. And what I need you to do right now is maybe suspend a little bit of, of the prior mindsets you've had about what your YouTube channel should be about. And tell me in the comments or here live, what actually is your current channel topic? What is your channel about? And this framework is really for you if you would say, Sean, I actually want to make YouTube my full-time job. And if that's true, if you want to make a full-time living from YouTube or 2X or 5X or 10X your business revenue using YouTube, you have to be willing, I think, to potentially change your channel topic or pivot your channel topic. You can't just say, I want to do things the way I want to do. It's the way I feel about it. And I just want it to be successful. Using this framework will help, will help you do really two things, not only get views, but also earn money. So if you would say, Sean, my ambition is to actually find the right topic for me that will do all of those things, that's what this is all about. And this is called our 3P framework. And today, we're really going to be going deep into like, you might want to pull out a journal and shut out distractions. This is like a master class. And this is how we recommend if you'd say, Sean, I don't know what to make my channel topic about, or are you like me and you're multi-passionate, right? You're also like, I've kind of, I've narrowed it down 
to seven things. There's seven potential topics. And right now, maybe you're actually doing seven different things on your channel. I think this is really going to help you if you would say, what should my niche be about? What should my channel be about? And the first thing I want you to do is draw three circles intersecting just like this. And in the first circle, write the first P, which is passion. See, this is kind of the dream of today is they say, wow, now it's time to cash in on your passion. Gary Vaynerchuk wrote a book about it in 2009. What are you passionate about? Do what you love and you'll never work another day in your life. Actually, I think that's bad advice, but we'll get back to that in a second. You kind of want to start with passion because you really want to be sold on, okay, what are some things I'm passionate about that I could see myself interested in for the next couple of years? And here's what I want you to do using this framework is not only write passion in the first circle, but what I want you to do is I want you to brainstorm five to 10 different passions you could make a YouTube channel about. Now, if you already know what your YouTube channel is about, I want you to do this anyways, because this might give you clarity for the next step in your journey. And it might even be a strategic pivot that your channel needs to make to achieve more success. So what you might do is you might write down, okay, uh, I'm passionate about guitar. Here's some for me. I'm passionate about snowboarding. I'm passionate about video. I'm passionate about leadership. I'm passionate about the Bible. Like I could write down different things. So your goal is to not be judgmental of yourself or, or even of the passions or question whether they'd be successful or not. The first thing is to just brainstorm. So pull out a piece of paper, just start brainstorming down. What are, you know, four, five, six, ten 10 different passions that you have. But then what we're going to want to do is go on to the next P, which is proficiency, which is proficiency. And now this is asking what topic would establish you as an authority with the least amount of effort? What are you good at? What is a natural skill for you? What do you have the most experience in? And so proficiency, what we're going to do here is we're going to be layering these on top of each other, these three P's. And we're looking for thematic overlap. So when I think about, okay, here's me doing the exercise, um, snowboarding, pretty good, uh, but not amazing. Like uh, I, I fall, I've injured myself. I can kind of rip, but you put me in the park on rails and jumps. I'm, I'm not going to do very good there. Okay. Guitar. Uh, I am a great singer and guitar player in my own mind um, when the shower is on or when the music speakers are blaring loud. But as soon as the music speak as the radio speakers in my car are off, my wife, Sonia is like, this is not your gift, Sean. This is not your proficiency, right? So you want to soberly evaluate now your five to 10 passions to which ones are you most proficient at? Now I could say video. And even back when I started YouTube uh, in 2010 and uploaded my first video, I realized that I already had seven years experience in video. I started shooting videos for my local church in 2003. So videos on there and I go, okay, not only am I passionate about this, but I also watch, I have some experience in this. I have some proficiency in this. I have some history in this. It's also something that has kept me curious. It makes me also think about which, what, what have you maybe read a lot of books about or, or studied about what kind of content you research on YouTube and it keeps you fascinated. And so I'm interested in actually not just video, but online business, marketing, leadership, and kind of things that relate towards being an influencer. How do I be a communicator? Things like that. So I go, okay, well, I can maybe scratch out snowboarding. I'm going to scratch out guitar. I'm going to scratch out and I'm, I'm maybe going to circle video. So what I want you to do is you've written down five to 10 passions, but now you're putting them through a second filter which is the proficiency filter, okay? And you maybe narrow it down to two or three or four more that you have a little bit of experience in. And I don't want you to be overly judgmental. Like, do not say about yourself, like, I'm just not good at anything. That's not true. Like, I even look back now, and in 2010, when I started Think Media, I just had some experience in video. I had to keep learning and growing. And that's what today's third session is about during this YouTube Strategy Masterclass. I couldn't have stayed where I was in that skill, but the cool thing about proficiency is you just have to be one or two steps ahead of the person that you want to help on YouTube and you're good because someone's always starting. Someone's always beginning. And so sometimes you're overly critical of yourself and I want you to just be honest. Like, what do you have some momentum in? You, you have a little of experience in, but it brings us to the third P and that's profit. And that is profit. Now, if you want to do YouTube as a hobby, well, then you don't need this P. But if you want this to be a real business, 
You want to tap into the 5X growth that's coming to the creator economy in the next nine months. You want this to be something that sustains you and your family so you can do what you want, when you want, be your own boss, and really actually have significant revenue coming in. You have to take this P serious, okay? So this P is the profit P, and this is asking the question of, is there a market for this? This is asking the question of, what's the business model? This is asking the question of how am I actually going to make money and can I make money and will people pay me for this? And so now I might look through and maybe I narrowed it down to leadership, which is a great niche. And I'm like, okay, I've been a youth leader for a while. This is back in 2010. I'm doing this. I'm right. Snowboarding. That's not going to be it. Guitar. Definitely not it. Video. Maybe leadership. Okay. Uh, that would be maybe good too. But then I move over to profit. Then I can start asking myself, okay. What, what are the income streams going to be? Could I do affiliate marketing and, and talk about cameras and tech? Well, that's actually the way I originally made a six-figure income and was able to do this full-time. Okay, that's a cool way to make money. If leadership-wise, what am I going to do? I don't know. Could I make an online course? Sure. Could I write a book? Yeah, well, it might be kind of hard though, and it's easier to start with affiliate marketing. Okay, great. So I'm just kind of brainstorming now. Watch. You've written down five to 10 passions, narrowed it down to like three or four of those that are you're proficient at, but now you're asking which one is best to earn money. And that's going to give you your best path to a profitable YouTube channel that you could go full time at. But now I have some warnings for you. And these are three big mistakes that people make. And the first one is if all you have though is passion and proficiency, but there's not a solid market for it, or you haven't established a solid business model, then friend, all you're going to have is a hobby. You, this is why it's the three P framework. You need all three P's and you need to dial in your niche, your YouTube channel topic around these. Because if you only have the two P's, you have a hobby. Again, if you would say, Sean, that's my goal. I just kind of want to share my message online. I kind of want to inspire people. I don't care if I make money or not. It's not going to be a business. Well, then at least have that self-awareness and clarity. But if you want this to be something solid, you need the profit P and not just the passion and proficiency P. The thing is, though, you also might say, okay, when I look at proficiency and profit, I feel like those are dialed in. But this idea that I have right here, I don't know how passionate about it I am. In that case, you might be in boredom. And, and the thing with when I think about YouTube, I like to ask myself, if I'm going to start a channel, will I be passionate about this? Could I see myself doing this? For at least two to, I think even better, three years. If I look ahead, can I commit to this for three years? Because, you know, here at Think Media, we want to help you build a six plus figure business. And so that does take time. It does take momentum. It does take commitment. It does take work. And so you're going to want to make sure not only that the proficiency is locked and the profit is locked, but you also have that passion element. And this is why it's cool to brainstorm 10, even 20 different passions and look for the thematic overlap because once you find that thing, you're like, that's the sweet spot, man. I'm passionate about it. I've got some experience in it. There's a solid business model for it. Let's go. But there's one more warning and one more pitfall, and that is the passion and profit without proficiency. And that's going to lead to failure. If you're not self-aware enough that you don't, like right now I could look at, uh, and sure I could learn, but I could look at like the NFT space. It's, 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 I'm kind of passionate about it. I just got my V friend series too, uh, right? I got a, two of those pretty pumped, you know, I, I'm kind of getting excited about it, but I have like different people I know, they know way more. They've put more experience into it. NFTs, hugely profitable kind of niche right now, not just buying them and flipping them, but actually teaching about them. So I have a, I am passionate about it. Not at the top of my passion, but I'm passionate about it. Is it profitable? Oh Yeah. Do I really have the proficiency and do I even care to learn, to study, to research, to figure it all out? I don't. So the problem would be if I started like an NFT channel, somebody else has more drive around that topic and already also has more learnings. Now, again, not to be too afraid of the competition. And in session two, we're going to talk about how to solve that, because even if there is someone directly competing with you, that's even better than you. You can still win on YouTube using the second session framework we're going to talk about, the unfair advantage framework. But that's a huge key. If you don't have the proficiency, it will ultimately lead to failure. And so uh, let me know in the comments which 
when you do this 3P framework and you narrow down 10 or so of your passions, which one has all three? Which one has all three? This is how you find your niche and you choose the best channel topic based around your unique ability. And this might be, this might actually be a light bulb moment. In fact, let me know. Should I actually pivot my niche? Should I change my approach? Should I change what I'm doing? Because if you have been struggling on YouTube, it could be that you're positioned wrong. If you've been struggling on YouTube, it could be that you're in the wrong niche or the wrong niche. It could be that you're not in total alignment. When you get in alignment with your passion and your profit and your proficiency, I really believe that the impossible becomes possible and you can experience exponential growth. So let me know your aha from this first session. And I want to welcome back Heather and Omar. Uh, we want to take some of your questions and then uh, hit like if you've been getting value. And we're going to um, move into session number three in just a bit. But actually, I also want to remind you that today's Grow With Video Live show is brought to you by Grow With Video live. And so uh, check out this quick video and then we'll jump into some Q&A. This thing is your gateway to get out of the thing that you complain about. But people would rather complain about how it is than put in the work. We need to start understanding how big this opportunity is because for everybody in this room, you will sit back in 20, 30 years and regret if you didn't execute in this era. It has never been a better time in the human race ever to actually just go all in on you. Regardless of what you're trying to accomplish, you've got to tell the world about it. This is now the world. If you're not betting on this, you're finished. This is your golden era, right now. There's never been a better time to be you. This is the greatest golden era of not only business, but life. I desperately want you to win but this is on you. Yeah, we are so fired up because Growth Video Live is coming soon. And not only is today's episode brought to you by Growth Video Live, but if you haven't heard, we are actually doing a limited time special. There's only a few more hours left on what we're calling the Grow With Video Accelerator Program. So in addition to a ticket to Grow With Video Live, the event, for the first time ever, we've combined our signature YouTube coaching program called Video Ranking Academy, our camera confidence course. And if you look on screen, you can see that's also included in here is Niche Finder. If you, you might have a lot of questions about really dialing in your niche. Basically, we just covered one part of one session uh, with the 3P framework. And I just recorded 16 videos in a brand new course that'll not just help you nail your niche, but really will help you build a profitable business. In a lot of ways, it's more of a marketing and positioning uh, business class that really talks about how do you uh, position your channel for serious profit and really build a uh, high income YouTube business uh, this year and beyond. So this is ending soon. We just wanted to get this in front of you that Learn Video 2022. If you haven't heard about it, all the details are there. Uh, you could get actually over 90% off on all of our signature training and a ticket to grow with video live. And so I'll tell you a little bit more about that later, but I want to pass it over to Heather uh, for any kind of questions that have been coming in before we get to session number two. Yeah, there were a few questions because, you know, right when we start talking about what they're, what someone's niche should be Omar um, is when it's like like Sean said you have a lot of different niches that uh, that you could be passionate about and that's what Brittany said she said well what if I have multiple passions mine are God travel health and wellness what advice would you give to Brittany and uh, of course Omar we're going to be heading into session number two and three to go even deeper on this but but how do you help someone choose what's right for them yeah I mean I definitely think what what Sean talked about when it comes to going down the line three years. I think that's that's just one uh, filter that can really help. Like, would you stay interested enough in this? Because uh, the reality is, is um, I'm, I'm into coffee, but I just don't know if I want to go that deep for three years and teach on coffee, uh, even though every day I drink it. And, you know, here and there, I'm watching content on that. But like, just because I love it and just because I am passionate about it, I, that, that, I think that time timeframe uh, question is, is really huge. 
Yeah. And also for this one too, you know, Brittany, uh, we addressed this question um, earlier uh, with inside of our challenge and, you know, someone was really passionate about Disney, but they lived like states away from Disney. And it's, so you also have to think about the proximity. So I'm passionate about travel, but we only travel like two times a year, you know? So the idea of being able to create enough content um, is a big part of it too. Lisa asks, uh, can you be about learning those passions? My proficiency is that I love to learn stuff. And Lisa, I would answer this is that, you know, you like Sean said, you want to be a step ahead of who you are teaching. So maybe you are five years into being, I'll say like a real estate agent. I'm not sure what Lisa's passion is or what her proficiency is in, but maybe you're learning how to start a real estate company. Well, there's people that are just starting that you could be helping, or maybe you bought a new house and you want to start a DIY channel and you want to show your process of doing that. It's still figuring out though, who you're helping in that space. So just learning in general um, is still very, very broad because there's a lot of things that you could learn. And so figuring out how you can actually tailor that into helping someone specifically. Omar, Irene had a great question um, because, you know, there are a lot of different, uh, um, there are a lot of different experts in this space that are trying to help people figure this out. And Aaron On Demand, who actually is going to be a speaker this year at Grow With Video Live. So if you want to come, Irene, and see Aaron On Demand on the stage at Grow With Video Live, teaching her secret to success, um, you can uh, learn video 2022.com. But Irene's asking Omar, you know, uh, Aaron on demand's advice really is like, figure out that avatar, that target person that you want to help. And so for her specifically, it would be like moms and how to address running your house effectively, health and wellness, DIY. Omar, does that all count under one niche? Well, I think, I think it's more or less something that happens over time after you have decided what your stuff is about. Um, because what happens over time is that, you know, I, I would say the spill, the spill or the overflow effect comes into play. So, you know, when we focus just straight in on tech or, or like cameras and stuff, you know, we we're talking about what we're using cameras for. We use our cameras sometimes for church. Sometimes we use our cameras with our families when we go out to the park or when you go on RV trips and what's the best to vlog. And then it starts to be like, oh, Heather likes to go camping with her family. Oh, Omar is a pastor at his church. And those things come over time. But it's still uh, is it's it's still key that you you dial in on that on on an avatar that like is still looking for that one thing at first, and then over time the overflow effect of how you tap into other areas would would actually happen. So good. Uh, last question, and then we're gonna get into session number two. Is it possible to have multiple niches on one channel? What's our best advice for this, Omar? Um, I think the easy answer is yes, it's possible because uh, you're probably an adult and you can do anything that you want. <laughs> and uh, but the but but is it the wisest thing? Uh, now that now that's that's the bigger question. And I, I think the reason why I say yes though is because you you could have something uh, go together. You know, um, a very famous YouTuber uh, that many people know, Peter McKinnon. He's like a filmmaker, kind of does uh, photography and video tutorials and things like that. He's he's looking on starting a new show and I watched a, a video where he was making a logo for it, but he wants to talk about gears and beers and it's about, you know, equipment like photography and cameras and things like that. But then over a beer and it's because he likes, you know, IPAs and, you know, niche stuff, niche drinks like that. Uh, and so all that to say that his, his, the way he's combining the two is one way you can actually double a niche. And that's just you know, but thinking through, it's just a very wise thing that he can do. But uh, you could totally have like sub niches with within your niche. Yeah, really good. I'm excited because we're going to get into uh, the next part of this session. And it's going to go a little bit deeper into really understanding, you know, how you're picking your niche and and, and answering a lot of the questions that we're seeing coming in. Um, someone also said, I was trying to find it, Omar. Someone said, uh, I just jumped into the niche finder. When you join us inside of uh, Learn Video 2022, you do actually get our course all about niche finder, uh, going deeper into what Sean's teaching here. So I'm excited to get into this next part of the, the, uh, the class today, Sean. I love it. If you've been getting value, smash the like button and, uh, and maybe share this with somebody. Can you think of somebody that would have, that would want some YouTube strategy for 2022? Uh, as you layer on these three sessions, it's really going to, um, help you get an edge. And that's actually what the second session 
is all about. It's all about the unfair advantage framework that makes the competition on YouTube irrelevant. It's a bold statement, um, but that's what we're going to be covering with this. And uh, again, this is a part of our YouTube niche finder, which you can um, learn more about at uh, learnvideo2022.com, where there's actually 16 sessions. And to that question about, um, you know, also not just your, your niche isn't just about what you're doing, but it's who you're reaching. We actually have worksheets and customer avatar, viewer avatar. We go really deep in that in Niche Finder. But this right here is a framework that has helped me answer the question of, man, I feel like there's already somebody doing what I'm doing. Do you feel that way? I mean, chances are like, that's for sure. I mean, there's the, it's a big world. You know, on YouTube, there's probably already somebody that has a channel that's like yours or that's talking about the same topic as yours. And so it can kind of be overwhelming and even kind of daunting to think about, well, how am I going to stand out against the competition? And also, if the competition's ahead of me, how am I ever going to catch up? And the good news is you don't need to if you use this framework. And it starts with there's three levels of depth to your channel topic. Once you figure it out, your channel topic, there's three levels of depth. And it starts with what you do. It's actually the most shallow level, but this is the area that most people compete. So let me know, what is it you do on YouTube? This would be like saying, I review cameras, because that's one of the things I do. And you go, okay, it sounds like the same as a lot of other people. You know what I mean? Like, this is like, I do makeup and beauty tutorials. All right, it's the same as a lot of other people. Now, this one is actually really helpful, though, at least answering these questions. You should answer the question of, am I going to be in entertainment or education? At the what level, knowing if your channel is going to be about education or entertainment, it's kind of the two big niches, okay? And then this is also saying, what problem do I solve? So Jennifer's here and she says, I teach Canva. Same as thousands of others. That's good because we're going to talk about how to go deeper, Jennifer. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, Donnie L's here. It's talking about I teach branding. So do thousands of others, right? But it's nice to have clarity about what is it you do. You know, making it my own DIYs. I'm a crafter on YouTube. So tell me, no matter where you're watching this, uh, what is it that you do? That's the most shallow level though, right? And, I, and I'm gonna, to use a couple of other analogies, think about like different restaurants. I'm a pizza place, a lot of other pizza places. We're a sushi restaurant, a lot of other sushi restaurants. We sell coffee, okay? Well, there's a lot of other coffee places. And so on the what level, if you stay there, you'll probably be defeated on YouTube. So we gotta take it deeper. The second level is how, how do you do it? Now, this actually is an area that I really want you to, you know, get a fresh page out and start brainstorming about how you can be different on YouTube. This is actually a powerful level of depth. Like how you do it is a point of uniqueness that I want you to amplify. So when I think about how you do it, I think about Motel 6 and the Ritz Carlton. That's a different how of where you're going to spend the night when it's, you know, when it's time to uh, you're on a road trip or you're on a vacation. Motel six. How do they do hotels and motels? Oh, they do it cheap, which is actually a good value proposition. If you're looking for the best affordable price, you're going to go to a motel six. Now, the bed might not be the best. You might get some bed bugs in there. You know what I'm saying? And like the carpet might be a little bit sticky, but at least, at least there is carpet and, you know, and, and, and the, the shampoo and the conditioner, if you know that motel six life is in a dispenser, you know what I mean? Like you literally, it's like on, you dispense it and it's probably not the highest level of vitamin D and rich vitamin E, you know, conditioner for your hair. Motel six, Ritz Carlton different price point. How do you do it? Well, they call, they know your name. Well, thank you, Mr. Cannell for, for being here today. They actually have cash in their pocket in case you have a bad experience. And they're like, I'm so sorry. Here's some cash for your trouble. Now they can afford that because the price is much higher, but the, how they do lodging is different. So how can you do YouTube different, right? This goes into how do you dress? What's in your background? Are you more are you more punk or more conservative? Are you into geek culture or are you really into classic records and rock memorabilia? Like, are you, what are the how unique aspects of 
your personality that you can amplify on YouTube. That's the high, how level, right? What is your unique pet personality? Also, what is your process? So when you say, Danielle says, I do branding. Okay, cool. Uh, but there's a lot of different framework. I'm teaching you a framework right now. There's a lot of different approaches to how to brand your business. And so if you really want to stand out in an education niche, you want a proprietary process and you want a unique way of doing it. Like for example, at learnvideo2022.com, we're doing a special offer right now on our Video Ranking Academy uh, online YouTube course, right? And we have a unique process, a seven step, the seven R framework, which is our Video Ranking Academy system. And nobody else has this. There's a lot of people teaching YouTube. Nobody teaches it how I teach it, right? There's a lot of people teaching YouTube, but nobody has our proprietary process that's now been proven. And we have over 10,000 students. And we have so many people, silver play buttons, gold play buttons that from, from following our how. No, it's also not the only way to do it. Ritz Carlson is not the only place to stay tonight. Motel 6 is not the only place to eat tonight. Chick-fil-A is not the only place to get chicken, right? You could go to KFC. You could also go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, Raisin Cane's. Come on, what's your favorite chicken? Bojangles? Like you could, there's different places you could go to get chicken. So you might be cooking up some chicken on YouTube, but I'm asking you to amplify your how. What is your process? How is it different from others? And what is your unique approach and point of view on the problem? But listen, not the deepest level. That second level is going to help you stand out, but there's another level of depth that is ultimately how you can really make the competition irrelevant. Like the competition stops mattering, watch, when you go to this level, and that is why you do what you do. Why do you care about branding? Why do you like doing DIY projects? Why do you do what you do? Here's a question. What is the bigger purpose or mission of your YouTube channel? Like, what are your highest values? Like, what, what matters to you at the core driving your channel? And so why do you do what you do? You know, when it comes to coffee, let's say, there's a lot of different hows. There's the McDonald's coffee, Dunkin' Donuts coffee. There's Starbucks coffee kind of in the middle. And then there's also like your local hipster coffee shop, right? And so they have different styles of, of where they get their coffee, how they do it, et cetera. But there's even a why behind them. I looked at Starbucks's mission statement. They, they, they want to be a third place and their why, watch this, is to inspire and nurture human, the human spirit, one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. There's a deeper, you probably didn't know that, but there's actually a driving force behind their YouTube, behind their store, their chain of stores called Starbucks. What's the driving force behind your YouTube channel, right? And so ultimately your why, and watch this, can make you become radically different than somebody else. You know, we help people build profitable YouTube channels, but some people in this, in our space, they're all about, all they care about is the bling. All they want to, they just want to flex cars. Maybe it's just about a party lifestyle. It's just about amassing as much money as possible just for yourself, just so you can flex. But that's not the think media vibe. That is not our why. Our why behind what we're doing is because we really want to change lives. We believe money is a tool, not just for our families and our team. And of course, to support it so we can pay our own mortgage and raise our kids. But we also like to give generously. We support 49 kids through Compassion International, uh, 79 kids at here at Think Media to help them get education and food and a safe place to live. Like we're driven by faith, believing that God wove greatness into your and my DNA and that that's meant to be expressed and amplified. There's somebody else who doesn't, it, it would completely counter, would come against my worldview. Their why is no, God doesn't matter. I'm my own God. I'm going to do what I want. It's a radically different perspective. And, and, and therefore some people are like, oh, Sean's a Christian. I don't like him. Good. See, that's why the competition's irrelevant. It doesn't even matter if we have the best thing. Like they just go, I don't like him, but watch. 
there are some who will be pushed away by your why, but others will actually be magnetized to you by your why because people follow people with shared beliefs and people really connect with people with similar values. So you're teaching Canva and people connect with your vibe. They connect with your why. And I'm not saying you got to get on and just tell your whole life story. I'm just saying that this will bleed through the why you do it, the mission underneath it all. Like, for example, talking about chicken, right? Chick-fil-A, many know is kind of like a, a, a faith-based company. Check out their, their why. It's good chicken and good customer service. By the way, that's not going to make you unique. Everything you do should be good and you should have good customer service. That's not like, we have integrity. I hope so. <laughs> like, so that's not going to give you a unique difference. Your why is going to be deeper than that. Watch this. They're closed on Sunday. And, and here is their mission to glorify God by being a faithful steward of all that is entrusted to us and to have a positive influence on all who come in contact with Chick-fil-A. By the way, people get so mad that Chick-fil-A even acknowledges that God is real. They give glory to God, right? But guess what? People also love Chick-fil-A. Of course, they got to have good chicken. And there's always like a line all the way out to the street whenever I pass a Chick-fil-A and they got the two drive through windows. But they're driven by a whole mission statement that resonates with people. Here's my question for you is what's your why? What's the deeper mission? What's the, what's the why beneath it all? Listen, your what matters. You need to do your what excellently. Your how is going to give you some different, your, some unique difference. Remember that different is better than better. Your unique way of doing it will help you stand out. But your why is going to be the foundation under it all. And never forget that people follow people with shared beliefs and people connect with people with similar values. You know, when I think about our why, and I think a lot of people do resonate with Think Media when we talk about this kind of stuff, our, our mission is to help 10,000 purpose-driven people create a full-time living doing what they love while making a difference in the world with YouTube and online video. But there's actually a phrase that we have written in our Slack and amongst our team, and we talk about it sometimes. Our, it actually goes on with another sentence, and it's to experience that success without losing your soul. And it's part of our mission because even different than whatever your, your religious beliefs or your faith beliefs are, we have observed that people oftentimes build businesses and amass wealth, but they destroy their family in the process. We've seen that, especially in the influencer and YouTube culture, that people grow on YouTube or they grow on social media, but they get burnt out and sometimes blow up their marriage, divorces running rampant. They get into all kinds of toxic addictions. And this isn't coming from a place of judgment. This is coming from a place of our mission is to help people experience success on YouTube without losing their soul. Because what good is it to reach the top of the mountain only to realize you're ultimately on the wrong mountain because you sacrifice what matters most? So ultimately, our why is yes, similar to others. Of course, our stuff has to work to help you succeed on YouTube. That's like being good at the what. And then our how is different. And our styles may be different and maybe you resonated with it or not. It doesn't matter. I'm hoping you apply this to your channel. But what's your why, right? And even beneath that, the core vision of our company is to teach business and marketing from a biblical perspective. So in case you were wondering, the Bible is our framework for success. We believe it's the most proven, even separate from the, the faith side of it. It is the most proven and tested way of life that has proven to produce healthy, long-lasting results over centuries now. And so a lot of modern ideologies are theories that are not just untested, but they would actually go against my particular worldview. And you go, how can you connect that to business and marketing? Well, you absolutely can. I mean, the Bible is the greatest leadership book, the greatest success book, the greatest marketing book. All those principles are in there, Proverbs, all that kind of stuff. So that's like the why behind our company. A few other whys. And I'm sharing some of this because I want you to journal and inspire and write down what is your why? What are your five to 10 highest values? What do you believe to be true about the world that even if you're teaching Canva, cool, but why? Even if you're doing DIY projects, why? Like what, what, what's the deeper level? What's the point? What is it that moves you? If it doesn't move you, you're not going to move others. If you don't get set on fire by your why, you're never going to spark anybody else. 
The interesting thing about this framework is this framework is also a key framework for starting movements, which ultimately, if you want online influence at a major level, you and you want to create something different than just a what channel, just the, the level of depth of what, you, you can spark movements if you have a strong enough why and you have enough clarity about your deeper values. And so some of the other re things that drive us as a company, we believe there's never been a better time to build a life in a business on your own terms. We are so passionate about that right now, and the data supports it, that right now, the creator economy is going to go from 20 billion to 104 billion by the end of this year. That's 5x growth in the next nine months. There has never been a better time to build a YouTube business, right? We believe the education system's broken. It's our beliefs. That's why we're doing new forms of education. We don't have a massive lease on 100 acres of stone and concrete buildings with professors who've never actually run or built a business or whatever teaching business. We just think that a lot of things that are in education are, are flawed and broken, and, and therefore we hope to change that. We are an education company, but we're a new school education company. It's one of our whys. We, we, we believe that one of the greatest reasons we can be on earth and the greatest things to att uh, attain is to live up to our God-given potential. Life is a gift. God wove greatness into our DNA. The fact we're even here breathing air, the fact we exist is a gift from God. And our response is to steward the moments and minutes we have on this planet by giving that back to it, loving our families, building businesses, being productive, generous. That's that's what drives us. I have a, another level of depth with you, though, that I want to share. And this is, I didn't know I was going to go here, but I, I do have it in my notes. And then we'll get to some of your questions. Here's another depth of why. Who is the enemy or nemesis to your mission? What? Yeah, if you want a stronger why, you should be clear on who your enemy is. What? Like, and by the way, your enemy might be Canva channel, bad design. Comic Sans might be your enemy. You're like, you, you should never touch that font. You know what I mean? Your enemy in branding is bad branding. And it could just be confusing messaging. Your enemy could just be, lazy dried out chicken and you're like you've been cooking it wrong man you got to keep that moisture in there you know you, that you didn't you didn't fry that stuff right your enemy might be an ideology it could be a person but i'm not saying it has to actually be a person it might be though a way of beliefs and your youtube channel that when you have an enemy your channel's message gets stronger is this too deep can we go here and so ultimately are uh, one some of our enemies that think media are greedy, scammy online marketers. People who just try to shill an online course, but don't really back it up with quality learning, quality customer support. That's why we have a whole faculty that supports our students. So we have 25 people on the Think Media team. Makes us a lot. It makes us different than other people in the industry who slap together an online course. It's five years outdated information. And they weren't even really experts in it. They got lucky once. They haven't built multiple YouTube channels. Like we're obsessed with being player coaches and we just see too much greed and scammy online marketers misleading people. So we're, we're on a mission to correct that. Do we get mislabeled? Sure. People are like, oh, you guys are just trying to, you know, Sean, you're just trying to sell your book. Well, you can feel that way, but the book is amazing and it changes lives. You don't have to buy it. You know what I mean? But we're on a mission to conduct ourselves the best we can with integrity, with we're being world-class, with honor. So that's some of our enemies is those is, is it, our, our enemies is education that sucks and is outdated. Our, our enemies are outdated methodologies and, and people living in the old world when now it's the new economy, because like the world is changing and we got to learn new skills. Um, you know, we, we also, some of our enemies and, or how we feel is we feel they're that influencers are leaders because they're being followed, but that there's a lot of influencers that are not worth following. And this might come across as judgy, but I'm not afraid if that's the case. I frankly, now that I'm a father with an 18 month old named Sean Bradley Cannell, another one on the way due September 3rd, 2022 named John Stephen Cannell. I look at some of the influencers that people are following on social media and I just go, my God, I don't want, I wouldn't want my son to emulate that behavior. These, the influencers obsessed with themselves, obsessed, obsessed with their image, obsessed with materialism, obsessed with greed, obsessed with, with toxic 
you know, sexual behavior that are horrible examples that are, you know, rude that are whatever. And I know that comes across judgy is just true. Just like, just, just not leaders worth following. Where are the leaders? Where are the influencers? And by the way, I'm actually not trying to curse the darkness. I'm trying to light a light. That's why we are on a mission to help 10,000 purpose-driven people that actually just believe that we need to champion values again, like family, and that we need to actually raise the standard of what a leader is, and that things like generosity and love and things like integrity and character really matter. And that values, like that, that's, that traditional values are traditional for a reason, because there's something about building your life on the rock and not the sand. And so that's where we're coming from. And so we just have our little piece, piece of the internet. I know we're not that big. I know that we that think media is just one small stone in the ocean of what's happening online. But I really believe that as we throw our stone out into the, the river of the internet, that we can hopefully create a ripple. And that maybe that ripple will create more ripples in your life. Like, and whether this is the only and last video you see from us, hopefully this gets you thinking about being the change you want to see in the world and being, and I know like, you're like, dog, I'm just trying to make like a gaming YouTube channel. Like, what are you talking? What is the why behind my like Elden Ring channel? You know what I mean? Like for real. But, but I just think it matters that we use our platforms for purpose and use our platforms for good. And we do believe, and we're, we're not afraid of making money and building wealth. We believe that that's God honoring and that we could be generous and it can fuel the mission and we can feed our kids. So we do want to help you not just prosper and build a powerful YouTube channel that makes a lot of money, but also develop the character because we want to create leaders in all different sectors and all different niches with all different types of YouTube channels. I'm going a little long here, but I just want to ask you, what's your why? What's your why? What's the why behind your YouTube channel? I hope this is helping. You want to make your YouTube channel unique? Get clear on your what. Are you education or entertainment? Get clear on your how. What's your unique vibe, style, musical background, influences, things that, that you know, just unique flavor that makes you, you amplify that. But then the, at a deep level, amplify your why. And, and your why, it might hit your about page on your YouTube channel. It may be on your cover. It may not even be in your next video, friend. Like your next Canva tutorial doesn't need some long rant like the one I'm on. This, what, what, what the why is powerful about is you getting serious and actually getting clear on the values driving your channel. Like if you don't know your, your, your 10 values, then you'll just be blown around by whatever the opinion of the day is. What is, what is the core convictions driving your channel? Because the more convicted you get and the more passionate you get and the more clear you get on your vision and your mission is the more powerful your YouTube channel is going to be. It's going to help you crash through quitting points. It's going to help you overcome challenges. But what it's ultimately going to do is it's going to polarize people away from you, but it's going to polarize people to you. You want to start a movement? You want 100,000 subscribers? You want the competition to be irrelevant? Start with why. Get clear on your why. And that's going to give you an edge when it comes to building up your YouTube influence. All right, let me know if you've been getting value. Hit the like button and uh, and I'm gonna bring Heather and Omar back on here. And uh, I'd love to answer some questions. Uh, Heather and Omar will take some of those. We still have the third session coming up in just a second. And uh, I also want to remind you um, that uh, today's episode is brought to you by Learn Video 2022 which is a special bundle we are doing on um, our best selling uh, YouTube courses and social media courses combined with a ticket to grow with video live 2022 happening online and in Las Vegas, May 23rd and 24th. Uh, but Heather, take it away. I I'm curious to hear what people have been asking and I'll be here connecting with you in the comments as well as I take a sip of some coffee. Yeah, you know, for this session, Omar, it was, I think, a lot more of the aha moments, right? Like we went through the three Ps first, your your passion, your proficiency, and your profit. But then we just got really deep into not just what you do or how you do it, but why you do it. And I really love uh, that even Alex, thank you, Alex, for being here, said, you know, a big reason you're so successful is what you stand for, Sean, since 
uh, joining VRA, which is Video Ranking Academy, our signature course in 2017. You are always, you've always been consistent. And I, I loved um, that they said that. Victor also said, yo, I joined VRA like two months ago and it's without a doubt the best YouTube course online. Plus you get lifetime access that alone makes it unstoppable. So it's really cool, Amar, to just see that people are resonating um, even with the why that we're doing here at Think Media. And uh, this was really interesting. Naomi said, what if there's big competition channels answering your exact particular why? Why don't you speak some encouragement into Naomi? Uh, because this to me feels like a limiting belief of the idea that other people are doing it and they might have the same why. No, for sure. I, I think that's kind of where, uh, if you look back to what like the the outer part of the circle being, uh, the what and and the how is is so if you feel like somebody has like the same why as you that's great especially if you have a good why you know um, but but where you would then distinguish yourself would be in the what and the how and you know and what Sean talked about how does it look how does it teach how how, how how's your angle how do you you know there, there's so many things outside of just a shared why and 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 just to just to say with you, you know how many YouTube channels have the same why as us? Because, you know, you can clearly know that, like, we have a, a pretty foundational why when it comes to people who believe in what we believe in. Uh, but with that being said, that 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 nonetheless doesn't like that it shouldn't it shouldn't prevent somebody from creating. It shouldn't prevent us from creating uh, because we have our own way of doing something. And so that's what I would encourage you with. Don't don't allow that to allow that to actually encourage you to, to add to the you know, the why of, of whatever that may be, because why should be a good thing for humanity. Uh, but nonetheless, you would still be different in your approach, you would still be different in how you come across and how you share the information you're trying to share on your YouTube channel. Yeah, I think the way that uh, Canvas Classroom just said it, there's always a way to do things differently because you are the only you there is. And I think a big part of it too comes with your life experience that you have, the season of life that you're in. Um, like Sean was saying, just the values uh, and digging deeper into those. And, and really you will be set apart when you are the one that actually just starts to speak those things out. You know, we won't know the deeper part of your why unless you start to really pull that out. And I think this is an exercise, Omar, that that is really great for people to do because sometimes it's just in our head, but when you actually write it out, like, no, I'm, I'm here to make a difference in the lives of others. My why is because I believe the education system is broken. My why it like really actually just taking the time to write those things out. You'll start to see some of the uniqueness in your own value um, of how you can come and impact the platform. Omar, we have so many people that have said they've joined Video Ranking Academy. I love, Billy just put this, uh, joined Video Ranking Academy three years ago and just hit 112 subscribers, literally couldn't do it without Think Media. You can get more detail at Learn Video 2022. I saw, Omar, that you were answering uh, someone in the YouTube chat that was like, what's VRA? Uh, you can learn all about that over there. Um, is it good to have multiple whys or is, is having multiple whys good? Should we refine our why into a sentence or two? I love this question from Sammy Omar because I remember uh, about six years ago, um, Sean and I, we put a meeting on the calendar and we're like, oh, we are going to define our why, right? We, were, we, we knew we were going to come up with a sentence. And by the end of it, we literally had like a page of our why uh, when it came to it. And to boil it down to, you know, we want to help 10,000 people. Um, we, we actually went to the internet first and we're like, what are some mission statements? Right. And we just kind of got different ideas. But first thing we had to do, Sammy was write out our whole why. Like we just kept saying like, why do we want to do this? Why do we want to do this? And it was almost like peeling back the onion layers of why we felt like this was the right thing for us to do. And then to boil it down to a sentence or two, I think that that's a good mark to have, but it's not something you have to do when you're getting started. I think really understanding just the bigger picture of not just how you're going to do it, what you're going to do, but why you're doing it is the bigger picture. And then over time, Sammy, you can boil it down um, to that sentence. You know, now, Omar, that we have over 10,000 people inside of Video Ranking Academy, we're ready to, to increase the why because we want people to go full time. But now we're really even just reevaluating because we do see that there's a lack in leadership online. We do see there's a lack of character online. And so really understanding who we're trying to help also um, is a big deal as well. Any commentary on that? 
No, yeah, it's, it's funny because like what Sean mentioned, uh, we're just trying to help 10,000 people and we have a YouTube channel that's over 2 million. We've had, yeah, over 10,000 students. Um, we're, we've done a couple of conferences. Like, I feel like we've clearly passed that mark, but it, it is more or less like a North Star, you know, uh, and, and it, you know, sometimes it, it, it doesn't have to actually be unachievable also, you know, like it could be a North Star that maybe you never achieve, but it just, it's, folk, you know, it gives you an ability to, to, to reach for something. Uh, but I would say there is power if you can make it something you can articulate because, because I mean, even as you grow, if you start, you know, adding people to your staff and I know it might sound, sound crazy, but Hey, what if, what if your why was to create a place people wanted to work in and that they'd be better because they worked in your environment or in your mm -hmm. business that like having something where that they know that they can say, uh, I've heard this once that if you, if it can't be articulated, then it can't be replicated. And so if you could put it in something you know, it, we're just saying you don't have to do that, but Hey, if you have, if you, if you can write out a mission statement and, and it allow it to evolve over time or whatever, you know, I think, I think that'd be cool, you know, to do that. And you can put on your wall, put on a little sticky note or something. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, um, have, having it is, is just key. Yeah, I love what Tanya said too. Um, Tanya goes over her why with her guests before each interview. It helps us to keep the conversation focused on the parents we're trying to support and, oh, and yeah. off of irrelevant topics. And it helps get my guests connected right away because they're starting to think of the listener and not of themselves. What a great tip that Tanya is doing there, Omar, because she really is helping the, the person coming in and I mean, think about that over and over and over, just hearing the why and understanding what the channel is about and why she's doing it. That's such a great tip, Tanya. Thank you for sharing that with our audience. Omar, we have some amazing VRA students uh, who are here. We've got Nova who actually says, new to VRA, hashtag VRA fam. Welcome to the fam. Uh, Jay also says, VRA is definitely worth it. Um, I want the new bonuses. Sean, I know we're talking about VRA and some people are just jumping on and they're not quite sure you know what what is this and why are we why are we talking about it today on the show yeah um you know we are doing uh video Racket academy is um our proprietary system it's our uh online course that we created it's on about version five now and it first came out back in 2007 but we keep updating it we just released a brand new update to it um and it's an online course and that includes a workbook um, which is a PDF download, but you can print it out. And it's all built around our seven step system uh, that helps you achieve success on YouTube and not just get views, but also earn money and really build a YouTube business. But what's really cool is right now we're doing a special offer and uh, we just wanted to also make sure that you know that it's ending soon. So you can join VRA anytime you want um, at our website, seancannell.com. Um, but uh, right now, we're doing something that includes uh, a whole bunch of extra bonuses, um, which is some extra courses, as well as uh, access to a private Facebook group uh, community. And so we have included Video Ranking Academy and our Social Media Accelerator course and our Niche Finder, Finder course. And of course, Heather and I created together called Camera Confidence and a ticket to our event, Grow With Video Live, all in one special package. And to learn about it, just go to learnvideo2022.com. The key though, is that the special offer on this, it's over 90% off for the training and the ticket to grow a video live, but it ends on April 13th at midnight. And so um, this special offer uh, with all of this discounts uh, is ending soon. So definitely hit up the website. And we also just added another bonus. So we just added the video creation made simple workshop, which just takes this, off the charts. I mean, this whole program all together, uh, not only are you going to learn the YouTube strategy side of things and social media strategy and all of that, but Nolan and Omar and Chris and Daisy on the Think Media team are actually doing a live workshop that you'll get a free ticket to um, in a couple of weeks where it's all about getting your YouTube background set up right, picking out the right camera, dialing in your gear. There's an interactive portion to it where you get your questions answered in a pretty small group. It's really, really cool. So this is no extra charge. This is all included as well. It's a, a bonus that we added on how to create videos that look like the pros on a shoe string budget. And so, um, it's exciting. And ultimately, 
uh, this whole package is available at learnvideo2022.com. And, um, you know, again, if this isn't right for you, no big deal. Uh, if you're just hearing about this, you're not interested. But I know there's some people in our community that don't want to miss out on this special offer because we've never offered this collection of training and courses and coaching at a, such a big discount, including a ticket to our event, Grow a Video Live with Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, we've never had a bundle like this before. So I want to make sure you get in before the deadline and all the details are at Learn Video 2022. I'm pumped up, Heather. Um, this is a pretty uh, cool offer we've put together. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. And I love being able to shout out the different Video Ranking Academy members who have just joined. Um, and really it, this last section, John, I think just uh, emphasize so much for people, the why behind what they're doing. And I want to thank people for saying, you know, I, I connected with Think Media um, because of the why. And it's just so incredible to see um, people that want to make a positive change on the internet, but understand that investing in themselves, investing in their learning, investing in the next season that they're stepping into is incredible. Meredith, I want to say welcome. You just joined today. So welcome to, uh, to our video ranking Academy. Um, so excited, Randall. Yeah, you've got this just press record. Glad to be part of the VRA fam. Ingrid, welcome. I just joined Friday. Okay. Love seeing so many people, um, who are part of our video ranking Academy community. So incredible. Uh, thank you so much, John, for saying that think media is doing such a great job. Um, and Kathy, yeah, you connected with think media due to our biblical why. And you know, for us, that is just a key of what we are doing. John says he he purchased VRA last year and it was such a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of what we're doing. Well, man, if you've been getting value out of this, I just want to encourage you that if you're watching on YouTube right now, hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel that you're watching it on, you can subscribe. This is our podcast channel. This is a Think Media podcast channel. If you're watching inside of a Facebook group right now, we're multi-streaming all over uh, this amazing free masterclass that Sean's doing three different sessions. We just went through session number one and session number two. But if you're watching inside of one of our groups right now and you have a friend that needs to be here, invite them to watch this as well. If you have a friend inside the group and hit the like button because that helps get this video out to more people who need exactly what we are doing. Thank you so much for being a part of what we're doing. And uh, we're ready to jump into the third session. If you have a question, you could drop that question here and uh, maybe we'll pull it up so that Omar and I can answer that question for you live here on this uh, on this live stream. So Sean, let's jump into the third part. Um, but can I just say, thank you for going so deep on not even just the three Ps, right? People need that. But really, it's understanding not just how you're doing it, not just what you're doing, but the why you're doing it and the boldness that you had uh, to really share our why behind the scenes. And I hope people see that, you know, again, we're not sharing that in every camera video, right? Like you're not like this is my why in a camera video. But the values of what we have and what we're doing here uh, really go deeper because of over time, sharing those different pieces in different videos at different times. Um, so really excited for people to get into this third part of your free masterclass. Well, I appreciate it, Heather. And friends, buckle your seatbelt, get that fresh page out, get your pencil pouch, uh, because we have another session. And you know, whether you got your highlighters, got some rulers, I'm all about that. I'm all about that physical book life. Are you about audiobooks, physical books, no books, ebooks? Um, I love uh, physical books uh, because I can underline in them, tab them up. You know, I like physical Bibles. I've been going through my, uh, it's a spirit filled New King James Bible. And uh, this thing is pretty gnarly, man. I've been, my biceps are getting stronger because this thing's so big. Uh, but but uh, we want to really take out, we have the very powerful third session. I don't think I've ever shared this before. Um, and this will, this is called our rapid skill development framework. And so I want to encourage you, this is a super show, the grow a video live show, super show edition, three sessions. Um, and so get ready for this because this is going to really help you. Um, it's called session three, the rapid skill development framework. And so you can use this to learn and master the necessary skills for growing to a hundred thousand subscribers and beyond. You know, one of the truths about today's world is that the only way to win is to learn faster than anyone else. We are in this accelerated information age where 
They've even said this. I learned this. I'm, I'm reading a book called Life Force by Tony Robbins. It's all about medical breakthroughs. And it said that that even in medicine, there's a half life that 18 months after a doctor graduates uh, from university, there's a half life to their knowledge. So about like a year and a half after graduating, their knowledge is 50% outdated. And then it just half lifes down. So you go 10 years past them getting out of university. And if they're not staying current with their knowledge, they're falling behind. And I know that feels like a lot of pressure, but what it just tells us is that we have to develop the ability to rapidly, continually develop skills and really ask ourselves the question, what are the skills that I need to survive and thrive in the new economy? We have to become, if we want to, to stay ahead and not just get ahead, we have to continuously learn. I've heard it said that lifelong leaders are lifelong learners. Now, let me know in the comments if you would consider yourself a leader, yes or no. But whether you do or not, let me tell you today that you, you need to start considering yourself a leader. Literally, think about social media. An only way to succeed on social media and YouTube is to have followers. And the only way to have followers is if you're a leader. Because a, a leader without followers is not a leader. And a, and a social media account or a YouTube channel without subscribers will not be successful. And so ultimately, it's not that you have to be a leader in the trad traditional sense, like a religious leader or political leader. But you want to be a leader in your industry. You want to be a leader as a comedian. You want to be a leader even as a vlogger. You want to be a leader. And so lifelong leaders, though, are lifelong learners. In order, if you're currently blessed to have anybody following you, the only way to be having people continually follow you, watch, is you can't stop growing. Because if you stop growing, then those following you, by the way, they'll either stop or they'll leave. So, so this, I know it feels like a lot of pressure, but that's the responsibility of being a leader. And it comes down to just this commitment. I just got to keep growing because that means that I, I only need to be a few steps ahead today to start my YouTube channel. When I started back in 2010, uploaded my first video, I started teaching. I made a video in my car talking about how to build a video editing PC. I know like 10 times more now, but I knew enough then to start. And people who knew nothing about building computers were like, man, this, this is very helpful. So I just was sharing my answers for where I was at. But watch, the only way I could be where I am today is if I didn't stop growing. It was a commitment to growth. It was a commitment to development. So here's the question then. How do I rapidly develop the skills necessary for growing on YouTube to 100,000 subscribers and beyond? And we've created this framework that is the rapid skill development framework. And it starts at the tip with the strategy, with strategy. So, so the tip of the spear, if you will, is strategy. What does that mean? It means to win on YouTube, you got to have the right system. You got to have the right tactics. You got to have the right plan. Maybe you've looked up a video. How do I get views on YouTube? And someone shared a tip or a couple tips of how to do it. You need that. You got to have the right strategy. Like, a failing strategy will mean that you ultimately fail. So what is your battle plan for winning on YouTube? What are the tactics? And by the way, there's a difference between tactics and strategy. A tactic is like one thing, like write a good title. But you're never going to win on YouTube by just writing a good title. You need a cohesive strategy. And so what we've learned, though, is that strategy is the tip of the spear. You're not going to cut through the noise if your strategy isn't solid. But strategy is only one piece of the puzzle. The second thing you need is psychology. And, it, and, and here's, this one's so much more important because information alone is not enough. You don't need me to convince you of that because we literally live in the age where information is at our fingertips. On the other side of the philosopher Google, we can ask any question and get the answer. Information is becoming more and more common. And so the you maybe have heard that knowledge is power or information is power. That's not true. Applied knowledge is power. So you don't just need the strategy. You actually need the psychology. What does that mean? 
It means the mindset and the will and the determination and the discipline to execute on the strategy. The reason I know this, right, is, is that if it really comes down to it, if we were to ask ourselves, right, do we know how to be healthy? Do we really need a new book on it? Now, I buy new books on it, but if you really boil it down, it would be eat healthy and exercise. You know what I mean? Like if, if it doesn't matter if it looks pretty or not, when I, when I exercise, it does not look pretty. When I run, I'm like, I'm like a hunch, kind of hunched over. I'm six, one kind of lanky. Like it doesn't look great, but I'm burning calories and, and, and it's good to get out and move. But if you're like me, you still might be watching that infomercial and you're like, oh, wow, there's a little device for just three payments of $29.99. And I can just connect these electrodes to my abs and have six pack abs in a couple months. It's not real. That's the that's not true. The, the thing is, it's having a strategy, but you actually have to apply it. What is that? That's the psychology piece. So the psychology piece, this is remember the rapid skill development. And this is talking about this is just stuff that a lot of people wouldn't really share with you because I, even watching this, you might be like, why don't you teach about thumbnails? Why can't you just tell me the secrets of the algorithm and talk about analytics? We cover all that. Like we teach all this, that stuff. But friend, is that really the most important thing? Or is actually the most important thing is you getting motivated and getting off the couch and actually punching fear in the face and pressing record? Is the is it is the information the thing you're lacking or is it actually the mindset and the courage to not be afraid of what other people think and actually share your voice powerfully online is 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 it really the strategy and the tips is that your biggest challenge or is it the unbreakable will and confidence to crash through quitting points so the psychology piece is like having a growth mindset the belief that you control your own ability and can learn and improve that's the key to success, right? Yes, hard work and effort and persistence are important, but it's not as important as having an underlying belief that you are in control of your own destiny. And I've personally learned that I've needed to do a lot of mindset work, a lot of belief work so that I could get myself to take action on the strategy and the information I have. I was just like doing my morning routine today and I was looking at my bookshelf and I was looking at all the books I haven't read yet. The information is potential power, but I need to not just read the book. I got to apply the book. Psychology, right? Actually putting it into action. So confidence, healthy self-esteem, a resilient mindset that will beat adversity. A strong mindset will increase your drive. Strong psychology and mental toughness pushes you towards your goals. It shifts you into possibility thinking, and it shifts your perspective on things. A disciplined mindset is what's needed to cut through the distractions of modern culture. You do not need endless information. You need the confidence to take massive continued action. Psychology. Psychology. But that is not the only piece. Yes, we need a solid strategy. We need a plan. We need to understand how YouTube works. Yeah, we also need a strong mindset and strong psychology. But there's another piece, and that's community. That's community. So community is this piece that we have now studied. And this isn't just apply to YouTube. This applies to business. This applies to like life. It applies to like staying married. What's so fascinating is who you're around really matters. The community around you really matters. Like they discover Charles Tremendous Jones said it this way. You're going to be the same person in five years as you are today, except for the people you meet and the books you read. That's how he put it. You're going to be exactly the same place you are today in five years, except for like basically the information you learn, but also the people you're around. It's just true. Walk with the wise, become wise. Bad company corrupts good character. The fastest way to change yourself is to hang out with people who are already where you want to be. The more, most powerful thing I've learned out of strategy and psychology, but how to hack those two things is community. And I've learned that getting around people in some cases, well, Sean, I don't know how do I get around people, but I've learned the way I do it, listening to people's podcasts, reading people's books, attending events, being in a community where the impossible becomes possible, where the impossible is logical. For some people around you, they might only see defeat and cynicism, and it might feel like, you look around and all you see is people struggling. We look around and all we see is people succeeding. 
it's not because we're disconnected from the true hardships in the world. It's just when you hang out with people who have a growth mindset, who see possibilities, who overcome challenges, who are not delusional, who just acknowledge challenges and see every challenge as an opportunity that has a seed in it for, for greater growth, for uh, that every problem is an opportunity. That's entrepreneur thinking because you need problems to solve. Entrepreneurs solve problems for a profit, but do you are you around a community that is encouraging you with that and giving you those types of mindset growth? And 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 it's kind of that thing where we talk about this when it comes to community. There's a lot of stuff that's actually more caught than it is taught. It's one thing to just read words on a page, but this is why I love being immersed and around somebody where stuff just kind of rubs off on you, where courage just kind of rubs off on you. We're seeing possibilities just kind of rubs off on you. What you listen to matters. What you read matters. What you see matters. Who you hang out with matters. And investing in that, this has been what I've learned. Now watch, I've learned that strategy is about 20% of the equation. Now, the tip of the spear matters. Sharpening the tip of that arrow is critical to cut through the noise and succeed on YouTube, but it's only about 20% of the success. People overemphasize how important it is. Like if your strategy is not right, then you will stay stuck. However, think about the unopened course material on your computer or on the cloud. Think about the unread book on your shelf, right? Think about the, the unapplied note you wrote in your journal. That's why, that's why when you really just think about it, you go, okay, like I needed to know the thing to do, but the kind of more important thing is that I actually do it, which is why psychology is about 40% of success. More important is actually applying what you know to do and therefore having that mindset, having that, uh, having, having the will and the mental toughness to continually apply it. Because the other thing is, is that strategy is never instantaneous. So, so you have to have the mental toughness to know, oh, I tried once and it didn't work. Well, no kidding. You and everybody else. Well, I uploaded one of my favorite things that happens when it comes to us doing channel reviews and doing YouTube coaching is people ask questions and we're open to every question. As people, you know, share what they're struggling with in the, in the chat and in the comments, we're open to hearing and listening and we have big hearts of love and empathy. But one of my favorite things people will say to, to me is like, hey, Sean, I've been trying this YouTube thing and it's just not working. That is my favorite invitation to click through and look at their channel. Sean, I just don't get it. I tried your tips and they're just not working. The, oh, really, sir? Okay, let me check. Let me click through and look at your channel. And here's what I see on the channel. I see no cover art. Their avatar is a D, the letter D. It's no, they didn't upload an avatar picture, the YouTube logo. I see that there's six videos on the channel. One was 12 months ago. The next one was 10 months ago. Then they uploaded one three months ago. Then none of them have thumbnails. One's a weird gaming playthrough. Then one is them sharing their tips on success. And then their newest video is like a YouTube short of their dog playing in the snow. Sean, it's just not working. Bro, you're just not working it. Like you can't, you could say it's just not. First of all, you haven't even applied the information. Second of all, you haven't even been consistent applying the information. You uploaded six videos in the last 12 months, six different topics, six different formats, and you're not even doing half the best practices. Applying the actual knowledge. And I understand that that takes psychology and that's why actually doing it is about 40% of success. But the other 40% is that community piece. It's that community piece. Because I've actually learned personally, maybe you're different, that I've learned personally, I can't succeed alone. I have to lock arms and get other people around me. You got to know that something kinetic happens when I'm around Heather Torres. I dream bigger. She helps me reframe. Like, it may seem like I'm always in a positive state of mind. Maybe not. Sometimes you're like, you're kind of sometimes a little bit saucy, Sean. But like, like you, you know, you'd be surprised. I need Omar and Mel and Heather who speak life into me and hope into me when I'm exhausted and when when I'm not seeing, uh, you know, tired eyes rarely see a bright future. And there are definitely moments where I start getting super cynical and I, I'm seeing a negative future, not a positive future. Community, you need people in your circle. But more than that, like it's like when my friend, uh, when when sometimes I'm feeling down, I turn on my friend Peter Vug who made a mixtape and I start getting in the right, right mindset. 
When I'm feeling down, I, I, I turn on, uh, you know, maybe a sermon from my pastor, Javen Chavez, and I start getting in the right minds. That's community. I got people in my world that can actually keep me on track. You might be fine alone. I'm not. You might be fine by yourself. I'm not. I need community. And I, I would, you could go to the back of my book, YouTube Secrets, read the acknowledgements and see the people listed there who are instrumental in my success. Some of people, some of them I've never met. It's because I bought their courses. I bought their books. I listened to their podcasts. That's my community. They're helping me get my strategy right and my psychology right. And sometimes, see, we get accused, Sean, you've said this before. Sean, why don't you teach something new? Oh, I've already seen this video on Think Media. I can't believe you guys are repeating yourself on Think Media. Well, we need to keep repeating ourselves, sir, because you're not doing it. Oh, yeah, you already posted this video. Well, how about you actually post a video? How about that? Oh, I, I heard you post this in another video. Why don't you actually, because I've learned this, that repetition is the father of learning and the mother of mastery. So that actually being in community where you're hearing the same things over and over, getting your mind right, getting your psycho psychology right, and reinforcing the strategy is critical for cutting through the noise, standing out on YouTube and experiencing massive success. So this framework is the rapid development, skill development framework on how to quickly learn and master the necessary skills for growing to 100,000 subscribers and beyond. You got to get your psychology right. You got to get your strategy right. You got to get your community right. And notice that community and psychology are almost like the foundation that everything's built on. And strategy is the tip of the spear. Every piece matters. They're weighted differently though. But when every piece is intact, you're going to experience incredible success. And listen, if you only, if you have like kind of weak psychology, like you're like, I'm not very confident. I need a lot of help building my confidence, but you have the right people around you or you're in the right community. And again, that might be a Facebook community. That might be, uh, it, it's oftentimes multiple things. It could be local community in your local city, but it's also online communities that you're a part of. It's, it's right now. I mean, you're a part of, even if you are never a part of any of our uh, courses or programs and you never join anything, I'm super grateful you're here in the chat right now on one of our Facebook pages on our, I mean, this is as much as we can do a, a community that's free. Our deepest level of community is in our private Facebook group on video ranking Academy. And then on top of that, it's the strategy. And even if you have a 12% good strategy, your psychology is only 22%, but you have a strong community, then you, you add those together and you're still going to get momentum. If you can max these out, I got the best strategy. I'm getting my confidence right, my mindset right, my growth mindset right. I'm I'm intentionally, by the way, it's a key word, being intentional about this stuff. I'm intentionally pursuing world-class strategy, the best in the world, getting my mind right and building my mental toughness and confidence and getting around a community. And this is a journey. I've been working on this for the last 10 years and I'll work on this the rest of my life. But these are the pieces to rapid skill development. And, and as we've learned these, as at Think Media, we've discovered these, we asked ourselves, you know, how uh, this being true, how could we create a community where we could do our best at offering people all of these elements? And that ultimately is what our special offer is all about. It's about the fact that you've got the strategy inside of the course, but it's only 20%. It's critical. I believe it's the best course you'll ever take on YouTube. But you also have one of the things we created is called our camera confidence course. And Heather and I researched and studied science-backed psychological and confidence-building truths that are not just things like makeup, background, what clothes to wear, how to look right on camera, raise the camera up a little bit. It's slimming, you know, like some different things, all the practical things, but also the mindset stuff. But then also the fact that we realized we needed to create a community where we could actually realize iron sharpens iron. And we do that in a private Facebook group. And then more than that, and again, again, you might say, aha, I see what you did there, Sean. It leads perfectly into... The fact that you have a solution for that. Well, it should. I mean, that's, that's the, that is why we're doing grow with video live is because we recognize we wanted to create a place where you could learn the strategies 
but you could also get your mindset right to be around people thinking bigger, but you could also be connected to a community and form relationships that can last a lifetime. And that's just one piece. It's what we do in our products and our programs because we've learned, friends, we have hundreds of pictures now of all our success students sharing the financial results they're getting. We have a, a Slack thread. We have multiple Slack threads called VRA testimonials. And in our Slack threads, I'll, I'll show you, I have to switch my screen up and it just goes on and on and on. And we have these right here, VRA just keeps, um, is it on screen? VRA just keeps winning. There's Andy sharing about, VRA just keeps winning. So there's Kylie and here's another one. Andy saying, let's go. And here's more, there's from Twitter. And here's Megan sharing about the results she's getting. And there's Dr. Andrea Furling getting 369,000 subscribers. And it just goes on and on. This was on March 25th. And now we're going March 24th. Here's videos sent to me in DMs. Here's what's happening in my 100,000 subscribers. Friends, our program has the greatest success rate out of any program in the world. It just does. Pretty bold claim. Like we just have, I, I'm, I'm so connected to other course creators. So we just, and why is that? Because I didn't just make this up. Like this is based on research in personal development, adult learning theory, that you need the strategy, you need the psychology, and you need the community. So we said, how do we actually create that to give all of our students the best possible chance of success? Can we do it for you? We can't. It's on you. Ultimately, you've got to watch the videos. You've got to stay committed to taking notes. You've got to do the workbook. You've actually got to be engaged in the Facebook group. You've got to do all the stuff. But I know of nothing else like it that gives you all the elements. Problem is, a lot of people give you the strategy, but it's only 20%. There is some good mindset training out there, but are they giving you enough of a community to continually build the mindset? And is there even a community you're like, oh, they promised a private Facebook group, but it's completely dead and there's no one in there. And I don't even blame the people that are letting you down in those areas because a lot of times they just haven't actually built up a business model that's that committed to customer success. So they haven't hired a faculty and a team to support it. There's no way I could do, there's no way I could deliver all this to you. I can't. But Sean and Heather and Omar and Chris and Andy and Victoria and Mel and Isaiah and Caleb and Sam, they can. And Nolan and Steph and Kyle. That's a Think Media team. The mission we're on, we're so serious about that we wanted to make sure all the pillars were in place to give you a place where you can quickly learn and master the necessary skills to grow into 100,000 subscribers and beyond on YouTube. And I hear me as well. And if, if, if this offer, this learn video 20, if this offer is not right for you, well, then don't do it. Like just find these pieces somewhere because this remains true regardless. You got to get the strategy right, get your mindset right and get plugged into a community. I am completely, I'm excited that we might not be the right community for, for you, but I want you to win regardless. So you need to find a community somewhere and you need to intentionally build up your mental toughness somewhere. And you need to pick up, I'm, this isn't even the only methodology for YouTube. There's a lot of cool people out there. I get, I speak at all the YouTube events. Like they're all my friends. There's different approaches. All I know is that we have the most consistent success with our students because it's the most practical YouTube framework that I know about. Sure, there's the unicorn Mr. B strategy, but it's a lot, it's a lot rarer for people to succeed kind of going that viral approach to things as opposed to brick by brick intent-based content that we ultimately teach inside of VRA. And so I hope this serves you. And what I want you to do is think about and now rate yourself, how are these areas in your life? The application item is, do you have confidence that you have the best YouTube strategies and information to execute on? If not, you got to go get it. Rate yourself in psychology. Like, do you feel like your confidence, your mental toughness, your drive, your ability to crash through quitting points, your possibility thinking, that you almost, you spend almost no time in negative thinking and you quickly bounce back when you get down? That's called resilience. How quickly do you recover from kind of being knocked down or a bad day? How many good days in a row can you connect and how many bad days can you eliminate that bad days? It's not, it's no longer, you don't even have a bad day. A bad day is unacceptable. It's a bad moments just because of mental toughness, resilience, bounce back. It goes, that sucks. This is hard, 
but it doesn't do me any good to wallow in anxiety or worry. I'm going to bounce back from this. It's a mental toughness thing. And then community. Do you have the right people around you? Friend, get these pieces in place because there's, there's 5X growth happening in the creator economy over the next nine months. And this is going to be necessary because the only way to win is to learn faster than anybody else. And so you need to be quickly learning and mastering the necessary skills for crushing it on YouTube. If you're getting value today, that's session number three. Smash the like button um, and let me know what your aha moment was from this last session. And let me know if there was anything that stood out to you that you're like, wow, I really need to work on this area. Which one do you need to work on the most? Strategy, psychology, or community? Let me know. And um, we're going to do more Q&A in just a second. I'm going to bring Heather and Omar back on. But I do want to remind you, we are weeks away from Grow With Video Live. This is the Grow With Video Live show. We're gonna do some Q&A in just a second. And so we'll be right back. Do you wanna get in the room with experts like Gary Vaynerchuk, Patrick Bet David, Vanessa Lau, Pat Flynn, Shaleen Johnson, and more? And would you like to meet hundreds of other creative entrepreneurs just like you? Well then do not miss the chance to get around creators and business influencers at Grow With Video Live 2022 conference. You can actually lock in your limited discounted tickets at Grow With Video Live live.com or you can click the link in this post or in the description now if you want to learn the best new strategies for getting views on youtube and the most proven and profitable ways to grow online then do not miss this life-changing event you can join us in person in las vegas or virtually from around the world secure your ticket at growthvideolive.com and take the fast track to dominating the next decade not just with youtube but with video. Go to growthvideolive.com or click the link in this post or in the description to secure your limited time discounted ticket. Now listen, actually, I'm so excited for Growth Video Live, but that is not the best URL unless you're watching this on a replay sometime in the future. Yes, the event is coming up, but the event website is not the best place to get this limited special offer. It's actually learnvideo2022.com where you can get not just a ticket to grow with video live, but also the online courses that are going to give you that continual learning that you can start immediately. So really the best, uh, what we've put together here is this. We've put together the, the fact that um, we have a special offer. It's called our Grow With Video Accelerator. And inside of there is our Video Ranking Academy program, our Niche Finder program, and a lot of other cool stuff. And what we'd recommend is that you join that special offer right now where you can get over 90% off of the total value. And you can start learning immediately. You can you know, print out your workbook, you start getting into the content and start getting results right away. And then realize that in a few weeks, whether you join us in person in Vegas or whether you just watch online through the online experience of Grow a Video Live, you're going to be reinforcing those strategies, learning new ones from all of our guests, and um, that you'll be able to uh, also get around, even virtually, there's going to be like breakout rooms and stuff virtually, as well as in person. Of course, that's a different level of the experience. Um, and all of that's happening in just a few weeks. But then all of this continues. Because right now we're offering lifetime access to these training materials and to our private community, which is called our Video Ranking Academy private Facebook group. And so all of that is in one place. And if you like the idea of having a world-class community, the world-class mind, uh, mindset training, as well as the best strategies that are also, you're giving lifetime updates. Like we just uploaded 25 new videos to Video Ranking Academy. It's, incre it's incredibly current. And we're rolling out three uh, three more updates throughout this year, three more blocks where we're dropping just fire content that will absolutely blow your mind. All of that's available at learnvideo2022.com. Now, here's also the cool thing. This is backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee, and it's called our Think Media Satisfaction Guarantee. You have 30 days to try everything out, and it's a no question sassed money back guarantee, so you can have the confidence to know, is this legit? Will this work for me? Is this even what I think it is? Honestly, it actually removes all risk and it puts all the risk on me because ultimately you have 30 days to try everything out. And whether it's 29 minutes from now or 29 days from now, you email us and you just say, Sean, I'm not happy. And here's my commitment. If you're not happy, I'm not happy, period. I am that committed that this program, if you value your time, and you want to, and you're serious about growing on YouTube and using social media video to build your personal brand and build your business or create a business, 
I'm 100% confident that this is the best offer on the internet, period. The best training on the internet, period. And I back that up by giving you 30 days to ultimately trial that out. So heads up, this is all ending um, at midnight on April 13th. That is at the time of actually going live, that is 12 hours from now. And so there's a limited time to get this. Of course, these products are available separately or you could pay more to join Just Video Rakit Academy, but to ultimately get a ticket to grow a video live as well as our best YouTube course and all the other bonuses. All the details are at learnvideo2022.com. And if you have any questions about that, let us know as I welcome back Heather Torres and Omar el -Takori. And uh, to talk a little bit more too about rapid skill development and any questions that you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, love what people are saying here, um, uh, Omar, about Growth Video Live. Randall just said, uh, Growth Video Live is going to be amazing. Yes. Gary V, Patrick Bet David, Alex Hermosi. Wow. Yeah. Randall is coming to Growth Video Live. Really excited about that. Mathen's actually going to be joining us virtually, which I'm really excited about. But I had this question that came in, Omar, and I know uh, that kirian has been a part of what we're doing here. Uh, when it comes to even the niche. And if you have a question, you can ask us here. We're, we're, uh, we're getting these questions live here on uh, the show. So um, you can ask your question uh, either on YouTube or Facebook or wherever you're watching. But um, would I go and look at a niche like happiness, motivation, mentoring? To me, Omar, that's actually the, uh, the goal of the channel. It doesn't actually, it's not actually a niche specifically, right? Like who are you helping, Kirion, is where I would go with that question. Um, are you wanting to help young mothers uh, with understanding happiness, motivation, and helping them find mentors? Are you trying to help baby boomers um, do that? Like who are you trying to helping? Who are you trying to help? is where I would go with that question. And, Omar, yeah, and, and even just, yeah, I would say like what was, ha what just happened moments ago with, with Sean and the, you know, this entire hour and 30 minutes, but even like the last session, Sean is motivating and he's mentoring, but we're talking about YouTube. So I, I think, yeah, sometimes it, it, sometimes like the idea of getting into that, it, I would say is just going to be a very long journey. Uh, but if you can find something that people are looking for, uh, like tangibly need help with, then you could mentor them and then you can motivate them um, in that. And y you would be looked at as, I think that's what's so cool about YouTube is there is no permission. No one's, you know, you don't need to ask permission to promote yourself. And that with that comes authority and then people open up that door and allow you to mentor them or coach them or whatever. So, so good. Omar, uh, this is a great question. Um, I'm kind of confused. There's so many different brands and courses and programs, Think Media, Growth Video, Learn Video uh, 2022. What is the best course? Sorry. So Vanilla, your, your best, uh, your next step, your best next step is to go to Learn Video 2022. Maybe Sean can pop that back on the screen. All that comes when you go to learnvideo2022.com. Uh, inside of that is where you're going to find a bundle of items uh, here that we teach at Think Media, which is the overarching brand that we have here. And part of that is our Video Ranking Academy, which is our signature online course and group coaching community, where you can go step-by-step -step to learn how to grow your YouTube channel and make money online. And then Grow With Video Live is actually our online and in-person conference. So that is uh, that is a, a, um, a one-time event that will be happening and you can get all the details. It's very well explained over at learn video 2022. Um, but yes, we, we have a lot of different brands because we have a lot of different ways that we can help you different programs um, that are right for people at different stages uh, in their journey. Do you need to niche down in your genre? If your genre is broad, Omar? Yes, you do. Just because uh, if I just had a travel channel and it was just travel, um, I would, again, it'd be a very long journey. Um, but if you can, you know, find the nuance of traveling, whether that is backpacking travel in the Himalayas uh, or, you know, travel in the U.S. or travel along the Pacific North Coast Highway. What is that? Highway 101? One. Yeah, Pacific Coast Highway, mm -hmm, PCH. Um, yeah, but but just but just dialing it in a little bit more. Um, I think in, in our world, you know, where Think Media uh, may seem general, we filter 
you know, 85% of the content through a YouTube filter. It's not the best camera for videos. No, it's the best camera for YouTube. Uh, it's not the best lighting for cinematography. No, it's the best lighting for YouTube and live streams. So I think within the generality of your niche, just to like go a little bit deeper and like, I, I like, like to think of it like a filter. What, what, what's the filter pass through in which you're, you're, you're trying to generalize your information. So, so good. Randall, so excited to be joining the amazing Think Media team with the bundle. Um, and uh, let's see, definitely signing up. And I had another question that came in here about, uh, can you make a full-time income from YouTube with a lifestyle channel? Absolutely, Ashley. There are actually, uh, Signal Fire just released a brand new article that said that being a content creator is one of the fastest growing small business types. And the lifestyle channels are part of that. You could be making a full-time income, making over six figures. So like even full-time income, Omar, can seem like a very wide uh, range of saying, you know, a, a full-time income in the U.S. is like $50,000. You can do that on YouTube. And what's great is there's potential for that to be even more. It could be over six figures. It could be into the seven figures with a lifestyle channel. I think, Ashley, what you would have to decide is how committed are you? How committed are you to growing your YouTube channel? Because if you're just posting a video here and there, if you don't really have the strategy with it, the psychology with it, the community with it, it can be really difficult to get to that full-time income just on your own and not really knowing the path forward. So I would just encourage you, Ashley, that if you're saying I'm committed to uh, YouTube, I'm committed to making this a full-time uh, um, income for myself and my family, then I want to encourage you to join us at Learn Video 2022, where you're going to get access to all of our programs that will help you do exactly that. Plus, you'll get the access to Grow With Video Live, that ticket, so that you have that as well. Uh, Driven says, welcome new VRA members. That is one thing I love so much, Omar, is the community aspect of Video Ranking Academy. You've seen that really um, by being a part of it for so long. Why don't you tell everyone just a little bit about what that community is like inside of VRA? Yeah, I mean, if I could break it down, like I guess the the first uh, part of the community aspect, if you do join, is is the private Facebook group, and this is a private Facebook group of people who all want to, you know, grow their YouTube channels and build businesses around their YouTube channels. Uh, but there's a community level at at the student level there. But we don't just like throw people in a private Facebook group and let them fend for themselves. We actually have people on staff community that, that are at think media that are involved inside of that community and so they're they're doing things like thumbnail tuesdays or um you know milestone mondays and we have these things that even just push push our students to actually look at their analytics or even push them to create content so that they can be a part of these you know uh threads where we're we're going back and forth and so I think it's it's really a holistic community approach that we give our students and I actually think it's insane like i think it's insane that like once you join uh our programs that literally you have lifetime access and lifetime support and like sean mentioned he has studied the greats he has studied the people that are in network marketing and they have their own communities and stuff but i i truly believe and and i've also seen myself that nobody does it and puts i guess you could say the money where their mouth is when it comes to community building and uh, a lifetime access to something that not only is always ongoing and that, that people are watering, uh, but also lifetime access to updated content that like Sean, we're, we're constantly adding to the VRA, um, you know, course at, also. And so with that being said, all that, like it's just it's so much goodness. But that's how the community aspect looks like when it comes to um, uh, the private Facebook group we have. So, so good. Omar, I'd love to know what was your aha moment from today's session. And I'd love for the people who are watching right now, let us know what your aha moment was. Did you have a, a particular aha moment uh, going through that session? No, for sure. I, I definitely think sometimes in, I'm, in my head, I think we get we get a little caught up in strategy. Um, and that's probably where we either, you know, get uh, paralyzed uh, but when it comes to actually like putting in what you're learning, you know, when when Sean was talking about repetition, uh, when Sean was talking about actually putting in the reps, I there there I, I wrote this down once before, but that there is no rep, there's no replacement for repetition. A lot of people ask me, how do you get better at video? How do you get better with uploading, make YouTube videos? How do you get 
you you have to actually do the work. You actually have to put into play what it is you're learning. And so I do want to clarify that if you jump and join what your you know our programs at Learn Video 2022, and you learn everything and you absorb it all, but it doesn't actually get put into practice, that you will actually miss out. But I think I think the aha is really in uh, the psychology and community aspect of building a channel because although you know becoming a content creator is one of the fastest growing small business types it is a very social isolating you know journey where you can just be in your own cave trying to do this yourself and how important community is even beyond the actual genuine thing you're doing like he's talking about like our our community we have at our church is so big uh but then the psychology part for sure just just actually putting into play what it is you're learning um but that's kind of my aha from that session. Really good. Yeah, mine, uh, I love this, what uh, Marina says, uh, who you're around really matters. And I've seen that really happen over my uh, career that, you know, the people, the rooms that I'm in matter, the people I'm around matter. And um, I want to be in the rooms with people who are inspiring and who um, are speaking life into you and who are seeing the bigger picture, you know, versus uh, complaining or having negative uh, uh, thoughts. I think it's really important. I love that. This yeah, is not I actually read that earlier. I read that earlier today in Proverbs. It said, walk with the wise and become wise. Yes. Hello, somebody. <laughs> yes. Uh, game but surround yourself with others uh, that, in, that, that, uh, that will deter you and that it would lead to destruction. Okay, one more time because I interrupted you. I want you, I want you to get that one out. No, I just surround yourself with the wise. Those who walk with the wise become wise. It's in Proverbs, mm -hmm. the Proverbs yeah. of the day. Really good. Consistency and repetition are so important. Christopher, you could have not said it any better. Um, you got to make videos. You have to be posting videos and and really getting those reps in. You know, that's how we learned how to do live video and be able to you know handle all the things that are happening on a live video. So really, really important. That's Proverbs 13, proverb of the day. Aha was the moment changing your mindset, moment changing your mindset. Awesome. Um, I had an incredible future in front of me because of the mentorship I have now accessed. That's amazing. Omar, they love you. Omar, they love you. Lifelong leaders are lifelong learners. I love that so much. And uh, putting everything together today uh, is what is what they're going to try to do. Really excited for what you're going to do. Go past one why and go through more and uh, taking all off them into it and taking all of them into the account. So Jen, love that your why is what you're going to be doing and taking action. So, so excited. Hey, if you would like to, uh, I'm going to bring Sean back on uh, closing us out, but we are excited because uh, we do have that special offer of learn video 2022 is where you can go if you'd like to get into um, our amazing YouTube course and coaching bundle. If you have other questions, we're going to be here in the chat as well after this. But Sean, take it away. Yes. Can we show some love to Heather and Omar L. Tech, Rory um, L. Tecori, and uh, really appreciate you for being here. Smash like if you got value today. And if you're just joining, um, this was kind of a unique thing we did. There's three different sessions. And so um, definitely catch the replay and watch those. But as a reminder, our special offer available at learnvideo2022.com is only available until midnight tonight. It's April 13th, Wednesday, April 13th. And it really is. You'll see all the details there. You will see, you know, oh, there's so many different things someone said too. Well, there's actually a lot. If you want basically the body of work we've created at Think Media, our best YouTube training, our best social media training our best training for how to find your niche and a ticket to grow a video live. It's all in one bundle. And that's what's ending is the chance to get it all as one. You can buy it all separately, but imagine just having it all together. It's like getting the PS5 and four dual shot controllers and Last of Us 2, Final Fantasy 7, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Elden Ring all in one bundle. Imagine for one discounted price. And so we're, we're doing that with our training and we're putting it all together at learnvideo2022.com. And this is the Grow With Video Live show. So every week we're going to be streaming. So make sure you turn on notifications if you're on Facebook or you're on YouTube on our podcast channel watching this. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like the page. Make sure you got notifications on. We're going to have some special guests. Omar and Heather and I are going to be back. We're going to be adding value every week. 
Um, and so we uh, appreciate you and are really grateful that you are here. Uh, and with that, click or tap the screen to actually check out one of our favorite Think Media podcast episodes. Every Tuesday, we have a Think Media podcast episode that is entirely free for you. So click or tap the screen to check out the last video podcast that we uploaded. And uh, until next time, keep crushing it, keep smashing it, and we will see you in the next Grow With Video Live show. Peace.